What's up, YouTube? Shining Eevee 123 back again with some more Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. I think we should do a quick team recap. Um, because why not? I have put Martha back on the team. Um, I don't know why. Just because we got, we still got Rogue, still got Houndoom. Uh, still got Dragonair, still got Piloswine, and we still got Zeus. Uh, Zeus is actually a little bit of a tribute in this episode because, in case you don't know what happened with uh, Roman Atwood, his dog Zeus uh, passed away over the weekend. Oh, well, not the weekend, just gone the weekend before, and it, it was the Monday or the Sunday, I believe. So, that's a little tribute to him. I'm actually going to go and deposit Martha because I still don't want two water types on the team. It's sad because obviously Martha's been with us longer than Zeus has, but I kind of feel like it's appropriate, and we do need a cut Pokemon. So I'm going to withdraw you. And yeah, so last time we did arrive here in Lavender Town after exploring loads and loads of routes. Now there are two ways we can go. First is up to Route 10, which will lead to the Rock Tunnel. And the second is actually this way to Route 8. Now I want to do, uh, the I will do the Rock Tunnel, but I want to go all the way round. So we're actually going to head this way on towards Route 8. And please excuse the fact I have a runny nose again. I don't know. It happens whenever the climate changes drastically. So like if it's really cold and then I suddenly walk into a warm place. That starts happening. And why are you up front? Alright Miss Piggy. Go! We are so overlapped. Well actually no we're not. We're just... All these trainers are just underleveled. Alright, Earthquake! It is a shame that uh, Miss Piggy here will never be able to reach her full potential because she cannot become Mamoswine in this gen, which is a little unfortunate. Are you kidding me? We were that close to leveling up, but that's fine because he's got another Magnemite. So there we go. And uh, I do want to talk about. Um, Things that happen at the movie theatre today. Uh, I've noticed that the price of going to the movie theatre nowadays is so expensive. Like, not just the ticket to get in, but the food when you get inside is also expensive. Like, sometimes the food will even be more than the actual ticket you paid. Which is a little weird, a little strange to me, but, you know, these movie theaters, they just, they just love ripping people off, I guess. Now, this is why I wanted cut, because we can get an encounter on this route. So, let's hope we can get something good. Gra Ooh! Growlithe. Now, we could have got a Growlithe earlier, but we missed our opportunity. So, this is our chance now to grab a Growlithe. I want a mean look, you, just so you can't roar. Because I know Growlithe can have roar at this point. A crit. Great. Confuse Ray. Look at that. That looks awesome. Alright, and why am I going to Pokemon? Let's use an Ultra Ball on this thing because Growlithe definitely deserves an Ultra Ball. Alright, and we got it! Anyway, um, back to talking about the uh, cinema.
Yeah, so... Have you ever, like, run late to a movie? Because it'll be, like, pitch black. You know, you're working your way to your seat with drinks and popcorn and, you know, you're trying to shimmy your way past everybody. But you end up knocking someone else's drink out of their hand or you... Yeah, you even knock someone's drink out of their hand or you trip over. And it is the worst thing because if you knock someone's drink out of their hand, they they immediately hate you. And Volvagia should be up front. Volvagia is my weakest level. With Pokemon. But we'll evolve in 11 levels. Which is always nice. Grime is really good. I've been watching um, Shady Penguin and the King Nappy's um, Silver and Gold um, Soul Link again. And Grimer is definitely my favorite Pokemon. I mean, I'm, I'm watching it from the beginning all the way through and they still have Grimer as I'm watching it. And it is definitely at the moment my favorite Pokemon on the team. And muck. I am going to switch because I don't test my luck. Muck. And how do you have a muck at level 34? Grimer does not evolve into muck until level 37. Is it 37 or. It might be 38 actually, now that I mention it. All I know is it's quite late. But it's not a Lolan. Feel free to hit it with psychic type moves. And there we go, we beat the super nerd. Does that make us an ultra nerd? Who knows? Anyway, we can't go that way. And there are three bikers in a row up here. Put all of our gear to the front. And let's battle the one with the blue wheels. They should have had red, yellow, and then green going down like that. It would have looked so cool if it was just, you know, traffic lights, but I guess they weren't thinking of it at the time. And Coughing, one of my favorite poison type Pokemon, actually. I quite like Coughing. Oh, and if you weren't paying attention to um, the nickname I gave my Growlithe, it is a reference to my favorite Disney film, The Lion King. And it kind of fits the theme of this video because we've been talking about the cinema, so... Alright. We beat that hiker. Oh, well, that biker, excuse me. And now on to the one with the green wheels. That really fires me. Fries me. Fries me, not fires me. Fries me. I swear sometimes I'm dyslexic, but I know I'm not, and he's got a flaring on. Sorry, Flareon, but you are the worst evolution of the five in this generation. In fact, you are the worst of all eight of all eight now. Sorry to say. And the weird part is, until like Black and White 2, Flareon didn't get a physical fire move until, in, until like level 42 or something. And then, in Black and White 2, they decide to give it um, Fire Fang at level 25. And even then, it isn't that good. Biker Dwayne. Guys, we're battling Dwayne Johnson himself. And I think my time is going to run out, so I'm going to have to quickly cut away, and I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Okay, and I'm back. So let's battle this uh, coughing. I know you said Grimer, but it's not a Grimer. It's clearly a coughing. It's level 27, and we took it down quite easily, so there we go. Another coughing. I didn't mean to press yes, but since we're here, 
Alright guys, sorry about that interruption, the phone started ringing, and when I'm the only one in, I kind of have to get it, so... Sorry about that, anyway, let's move on, this is, obviously, these are the risks you run when you record in your house alone. Um... You have to get the phone, you have to get the door, you have to, you know, do whatever. Even if I am trying to film a damn video, that people kind of, you know, you kind of get funny looks when you tell people you are trying to film a video. You know, it's quite weird, but okay. And finally, coughing. So he had four coughings on his team. All of which are going to go down in one hit, so it's no big deal at all. And we beat Dwayne Johnson himself. Who knew Dwayne Johnson played Pokemon? It's locked. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? So we can head through. And it's Saffron City again. Yeah, we're back. Now, I could take on the Saffron City gym. But I don't feel confident enough. I mean, I know I have um, Houndoom, who is a dark type and has faint attack. And I know I have Rogue, who's quite quick, but if it doesn't kill in one hit, then it's going to die itself. So that is kind of a bummer. But ignoring that, I am going to head north of Saffron City if I can find the right way to go. is right here and welcome to route 5 so this is another encounter so let's head up and we can easily get to Cerulean City but first don't be my encounter please I have one chance to catch you I have one chance to catch this thing I'm not looking. Got it right. Got out. And that's gonna teleport. So there goes our Route 5 encounter! Great! I'm just curious, what else could we have. Oh, okay, never mind. Let's just super speed back up. And let's heal in the Pokemon Center. Now, let's explore Cerulean City really quick. Uh, Kanto's power plant is at the end of group 9. Thank you very much. Now in this house here, in the original games, there was a trade in here that you could do, you could, this guy over here would offer you your polyrath for his Jinx, and that was the only way in the game for you to obtain Jinx. But in Pokemon Yellow, if your Pikachu was happy enough with you, you could get a Bulbasaur there. And that was pretty incredible because you can get all three of the starters from Kanto. Why is it locked? But uh, yeah, we, you can get all three of the Kanto starters in Pokemon Yellow. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot to do here. The gym is empty. Which means we have to find the gym leader before we can do anything. So, that obviously means we have to go on a little trip. On a little trip. What's in here? A diglet! Dug dug. Yes, because Diglett say that. Wicked. Now, in the original games, this would be the only way out, but it looks like they fixed their home. And you no longer 
have to walk through their house to get out of the city, so... Hey! Bonus for both people! Welcome to Route 24 and Route 25. But first, I'm going to get my Route 24 encounter. Really? You're going to give me Sun Cone? Oh, great. I have no idea what to call you. Uh, you're a male, so I guess I'll just call you this, even though this is what I normally call my chikorias. Herbie. Go away, Bill. I'll have to switch. I filled up the box. Wow, so we've already got 20 Pokemon in the box. And there's a potion there! Yeah, that's what you want to see this far into the game, isn't it? Just a regular old potion. And there are trainers on this route. Beat the six of us trainers to win a fabulous prize. Think you've got what it takes? Dude, I am the league champion. Do not talk to me like that. Especially when you're still in diapers. Wow. And you have an Oddish at level 35. Why is that Oddish level 35? You could have had Gloom, you could have had Blossom, or even Vile Bloom, but nah, you decided to just to keep it as an Oddish. You really pressed B that many times. That poor Oddish. He just sees glooms and vile plumes and blossoms and just wishes what he could be if his stupid trainer had just not put, put his finger or his thumb on the B button. I'm second, now it's serious. It, it wasn't even serious in the first place. You better not be playing me. Oh, wiggly tough, okay. Maybe. Maybe she is a little better than the previous trainer, but still not that good. Well, you are kidding me. Okay. Wow. We woke up. There we go. That's gonna do nothing. Oh, okay, it did more than I was thinking it would. I super sped through that just because we would have been here a long time if I had just not super sped through the whole process of not of that sleep. Because I think that lasted the full five turns. But there we go. Volvagi is level 45 and evolves in five, ten levels at level 55. I think. Is it 50 or 55? I think it might be 50. Let's send Rogan to battle this Gramble. And this just brings back horrible memories. This Gramble. But anyway, moving on. Let's use Fly. Okay. Charm is going to lower my attack sharply. You have bite, okay. Fantastic. And that's gonna be it, we beat Ellen. Okay, so I'll admit that fight was that fight was a little bit more serious than the other two or than the other one, but now it's time to battle trainer number three and I wasn't even paying attention to what he said. So let's just battle Schoolboy Joe with his Tangler at level 33.
Don't worry, Tangler. In two more gens, you'll have an evolution that'll be really good. But for now, there you go. And Vaporeon. I know just who to go to. Yep, Zeus. You spark. My phone is getting messages from people. Alright, let's spark again. And see exactly what they have going on. Look at that HP though, 184. I'm so glad double battles do not exist, but that is just cheesy. Two battles back to back. Come on. Gloom! See, now... This is a lower level... Pokemon, but it's actually evolved. And what I don't know why I have Slam at this point in the game, but I'll take it. Pidgey Oto. I was thinking of who to go to for a second, but I'm going to Miss Piggy. Because why not? Um, there we go. And Bellossom. I'm going to switch. I'm going to go to Vulcan. I actually like Bellossom. I think it's one of those underrated second gen Pokemon. Uh, that really needs some work. Well, not work, but needs some love. Because it's actually really good. Better than people actually think it is. But hey. We'll leave it and get on with the second battle here. Because he's number five. No, we really don't need any more encounters at the moment. I just probably should remember where or what encounters I haven't got. So when it comes to actually needing them, I can get them. But we haven't lost anything in a while. Knock on wood. Because um, we've done pretty well. And... Of course you poison me, but we've got enough Pokemon to last us of, of a lifetime at this point. So even if something does does die, we're good. We've got it covered, and we beat Camper Lloyd. And you're poisoned. So how am I going to do this? Please tell me. I have something to cure that poison. Oh, I really not use that calcium yet. No, I don't. Okay. So I better hope that we don't die before we get there. Because if Pokemon dies, even if it's through poison, that's it. We can't use it anymore. Paris. You really have a Paris. Oh well. Oh man. I really wish my nose would stop being so runny. Another Paris. Let's go to Vulcan. Because he can incinerate these mushrooms.
Okay, now that's flamethrower, because it's flamethrower, and it's going to kill any Paris that steps in our way. Paris or Parasect, for that matter, because it's four times effective. And the thing with Paris is it's four times weak to both fire and flying. Two really common types in the game. So, we're about to take down this Parasect. So, there goes the uh, Parasect there. Alright, I think that was the last trainer, so let's just battle this dude. The super nerd. Super nerd Pat. Does he have a black and white cat? Nobody has a Porygon! Which we are going to squash. Or not. Try attack. Are you kidding me? I really should have seen that coming. <sighs> Look at the paralysis. Really. Really the paralysis. It's times like this when I wish I did have polyrath. Uh, instead of lantern, but oh well, I'm gonna roll with it. Ooh, whoa! All right, you know what? Let's just battle this. What? Do you not battle me? All right, we got a nugget. And I think no, there was six trainers. Yeah, I was about to say there were more than six, but we do have to battle this guy. Cool trainer, Kevin. Has a Rhyhorn. That's just fantastic. My name's Scary Face. Come on. Oh, are you? That's twice you've been fully powered. Come on. Yes. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And a chameleon. Alright. Let's go to Zeus. I know Zeus is poison, but... I think Zeus can pretty much handle it. Okay. And finally, War Total. I'm gonna switch. Just because, why not? Oh, whoops, sorry guys. I'm being distracted by people messaging me. I know it's very unprofessional, but if this was a professional channel, We'd be bigger than we are. Anyway, my time's about to end up. Oh, it's about to end, so I better cut away. So I'll see you guys back here in just a sec. And of course, the war total protects. So I'm going to confuse Ray the thing. And there we go. And now let's use Bite. Uh, 
and you've already snapped out of confusion. Isn't that just great? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys, about my runny nose. I can't help it. I wish I could, but there's nothing I can do, and it's really annoying. But, oh well. We beat Cool Trainer Kevin. And now, oh, oh no, 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 come on. Thank you. I want to grab this item. A protein! Because that's what we want. Anyway, if we come in here, this old man, this is Bill's grandfather. And he will tell you that he wants to see a Pokemon with a long tongue. Now, we haven't got one on us right now, um, but we do have one in the PC. So if you come back here later with the Pokemon he wants, there you go. Now, I am sure we're supposed to do something, because the gym would not just be empty. But anyway, I kind of have to end the episode. It's dragging on for a little bit now. So I'm going to fly back to the town, to the sea. And I'm going to try and figure out what we're going to do. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you're enjoying the series. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you know when I upload next. Uh, don't forget to like my Facebook page. Linked in the description below. And Shining Eevee123. Alright, for now.